Stanford University. He flew a slow flying parrotlet through a laser sheet. The laser sheet is heated with a bunch of particles. So when the bird flaps its wings, it moves those particles. In this plane, we can visualize how tiny particles are moving and then calculate the velocity field. Based on this velocity field, we should be able to theoretically calculate the lift force that the bird is generating in flight. We would never do this ourselves. We would never walk through a laser sheet without having any protection. So we really had to think about how can we protect our bird. And my student Eric Pacheris came up with this really good idea to develop tiny laser goggles and train a bird to fly with the laser goggles voluntary through the sheet. The study was comparing three really popular models that people use to estimate the lift that birds or other flapping animals generate when they're flying. These models have been pretty widely used in the literature, but none of them really predicted lift very accurately, we found. Now that we figured out that the equations that people have used are not as reliable as we thought they were, this also turns out we need new studies, new methods, to really inform this design process much more reliably. If you look at the classic picture of animal flight, we always think of like these animals generating really nice and smooth vortices, but they turn out to be much more complex. And that actually is only a starting point for us to now really figure out how these animals fly. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.